welcome back to yet another video. So, hello there and welcome to this enchanting ASMR journey. Tonight we will be diving into the mysterious and magical world of mermaids. I'm so glad you could join me for this special exploration. So, in this video we'll be uncovering the fascinating history of mermaids from ancient myths and legends to medieval tales and beyond. We'll then drift in the realm of pop culture where mermaids have inspired countless books, movies, and art pieces. Finally, we share some intriguing lesser known facts about these captivating creatures of the sea. So find a comfortable spot, perhaps somewhere cozy and quiet. Let the soothing sounds of the ocean wash over you as we embark on this journey together. Allow yourself to relax and let your imagination take you beneath the waves where the world of mermaids awaits. So thank you for joining me. Now let's begin our exploration of the enchanting and mysterious words of mermaids. So we're going to start into part one, which is history of mermaids, ancient lit myths and legends. So let's begin our journey into the ancient myths and legends that have shaped the lore of mermaids over the centuries. Our tale starts with one of the earliest mentions of mermaids in ancient Assyrian mythology. The legend tells of the goddess Atar Atargatis, who transformed into a mermaid out of shame and grief. She is often um, depicted with the upper body of a woman and the lower body of a fish, symboling the duality of her nature, both divine and aquatic. In Greek mythology, mermaids are closely associated with the sirens. These enchanting be beings uh, were often depicted as beautiful women with alluring voices capable of luring sailors to their doom. However, in early Greek art, sirens were sometimes portrayed with bird-like features, which gradually evolved into the more familiar fish-tailed image we recognize today. Moving further east, we encounter the Japanese folklore of the Ninyo. Unlike the Alern mermaids of Western mythology, the Ninyo were said to be magical creatures with a more eerie appearance. They are believed to bring good fortune and eternal youth to those who consumed their flesh, but catching one was thought to bring storms and misfortune. In African mythology, we find the tale of Mami Wata, a powerful water spirit revered across various cultures. Mami Wata is often depicted as a mermaid, embodying both beauty and danger. She's believed to possess immense wealth and is associated with fertility and healing. Her followers perform elaborate rituals to honor her, seeking blessings and protection from the spirit of the waters. These ancient myths and legends from various uh, different corners of the world reveal a common fascination with mermaids, a symbol of the mysterious and enchanting allure of the ocean. Each culture brings its unique perspective, enriching the tapestry of mermaid lore, diverse and captivating stories. So next, we'll explore how mermaids have been depicted throughout the medieval and renaissance periods, continuing our journey through the history of these mesmerizing beings. So medieval and renaissance periods is the next part of history. Um, so... During the Middle Ages, mermaids were commonly depicted in pastries, uh, medieval books that described various animals, both real and mythical. These illustrations often portrayed mermaids as symbols of temptation and danger, uh, warning sailors and devout Christians alike of the perils that lay within the seas, their enchanting beauty and melodious voices were set to lure unsuspecting sailors to their doom, causing shipwrecks and leading men astray. One notable story comes from this period. One notable story from this period comes from the voyages of Christopher Columbus in 1493 during his exploration 
of the Caribbean. Columbus reported seeing mermaids. However, these sightings were likely manatees or dugongs, marine mammals with mermaid-like features when glimpsed from a distance. Despite the more mundane reality, mundane reality tales of these encounters only fueled the legend of mermaids. As we move into the Renaissance, the depiction of mermaids begins to shift. Renaissance artists and scholars were fascinated by classical mythology, leading to more refined and romanticized portrayal of mermaids. In the art of this period, mermaids were often shown as beautiful and ethereal beings, embodying both the allure and a mystery of the sea. So one of the most famous Renaissance artworks featuring a mermaid is The Birth of Venus by Sandro Botticelli. While Venus is not a mermaid, the painting reflects the era's fascination with sea mythology and the feminine form, elements often associated with mermaid imagery. Additionally, maps from this period known as Mappa Mundi frequently included illustrations of mermaids and sea monsters symbolizing the unknown dangers of the ocean. So, during these times, mermaids were also featured in maritime folklore, serving as both omens and protectors for sailors. They were thought to inhabit the depths of the ocean, guiding or misleading those who ventured into their watery domain. These stories were passed down through generations, blending reality and myth into the enduring legend of the mermaid. So, our next stop on our journey will take us into the realm of pop culture, where mermaids continue um, to enchant and inspire through literature, film, and art. So, let's explore. These timeless beings have made their mark on modern storytelling. And so, now we're moving on to part two, which is pop culture, and the first part is literature. So now let's immerse ourselves in the world of literature where mermaids have captivated the imaginations of writers and readers for centuries. One of the most iconic mermaid tales come from the 19th century, penned by the Danish author Hans Christian Andersen. His story, The Little Mermaid, first published in 1837, has become one of the most beloved fairy tales of all time. Anderson's tale is both enchanting and poignant, telling the story of a young mermaid who sacrificed her voice and endures great hardship for a chance at love with a human prince. Unlike the more familiar Disney adaptation, Anderson's original story is bittersweet, ended in sacrifice and transformation rather than a simple happy ending. I haven't actually watched Little Mermaid, I'm pretty sure, but oh well. <laughs> Mermaids have also made their appearance in significant other significant literary works. In J. M. Barrie's Peter Pan, first performed as a play in 1904 and later published as a novel in 1911. Mermaids inhabit the magical realm, realm of Neverland. These mermaids are mysterious and alluring, living in the Mermaid's Lagoon, where they sometimes interact with Peter Pan and the Lost Boys. Their presence adds a layer of enchantment and danger to the already magical landscape of Neverland. And that just reminds me, this is unrelated, but um, I like... I really like that song, Lost Boys by Ruth B. And yeah, I've listened to that so many times. In more contemporary literature, mermaids continue to inspire. For example, Alice Hoffman's novel, The Museum of Extra Extraordinary Things, published in 2014, features a character named Coralie who performs as a mermaid in Coney Island. Sideshow. The novel intertwines, uh, intertwines the themes of magic, wonder, and human curiosity with historical fiction, showcasing the enduring fascination with mermaid mythology. 
Additionally, mermaids appear in various mythological retellings and fantasy series. In the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling, mermaids or merpeople are featured in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. These merpeople live in the Black Lake at Hogwarts and play a significant role in the Triwizard Tournament second task, where Harry encounters their eerie and enchanting underworld. So, yeah, it didn't seem like they were actually posing that much of a problem for the contestants until they were kind of, I think, asked to guard, I guess, by, um, double, I don't know, maybe a spell, I'm not sure how it works, asked to guard to make sure each person only took one, so Harry tried to take two, and he was actually kind of, like, attacked for this, and, like, I guess, guess it was hard for Harry, because at first he wanted, you know, Ron and Hermione, uh, but then, of course, uh, Crumb was taking Hermione, so I was like, oh, that's okay, but then no one was going for the little sister, but what confused me about this is that he got bumped up to second place, too, because he, like, saved Fleur's sister, and Fleur's, like, so grateful to him, etc. But I'm like, come on, it's not like they let, um, I know the, the Goblet of Fire is dangerous, maybe people have died in the past, but it's not like they let the innocent, like, people, um, be, you know, killed just because, um, the contestant couldn't save them, like, that's stupid. Um, so from classic fairy tales to modern novels, mermaids continue to captivate readers with their beauty, mystery, and depth. Their stories reflect our enduring fascination with the sea and the unknown, reminding us of the magic that lies just beyond our reach. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot about Joey. Harry also wanted to save Joey, literally wanted to save everyone underneath Ron, Jo Chang, um, Hermione, and then the one he actually saved for her sister. Um, next, we will explore the betrayal of mermaids in film and television, where these mystical uh, beings have found new life and captivated audiences worldwide. So, do, 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 do. so as we continue our journey through the enchanting world of mermaids, let's dive into the betrayal in in film and television, where these mystical beings have been brought to life in vivid and captivating ways. One of the most beloved and iconic portrayals of a mermaid comes from Disney's The Little Mermaid. So we already talked about that, I guess it's done with the portrayal, not the literature from Hans Christian Anderson. So released in 1989, this animated classic based on Hans Christian Anderson's fairy tale tells the story of Ariel, a curious and adventurous mermaid who dreams of life on land. With his memorable songs and enchanting animation, The Little Mermaid has captured the hearts of audiences worldwide, solidifying Ariel as a beloved character in popular culture. So, in 1984, the romantic comedy Splash introduced a different kind of mermaid story to the big screen, directed by Ron Howard and starring Daryl Hannah as the mermaid Madison and Tom Hanks as her love interest. Splash blends humor, romance, and fantasy. Madison's journey from the sea to the bustling streets of New York City as a whimsical and heartwarming touch to the mermaid mythos. So, mermaids have also made a splash in television series and Australian TV show H2O Just Add Water, which aired from 2006 to 2010, follows the life of three teenage girls who transform into mermaids whenever they come into contact with water. The series combines elements of friendship, adventure, and the supernatural, appealing to a younger audience and gaining a dedicated fan base. So, yes, I did watch H2O. Um, when I was younger, I say younger, um, I was quite old to be watching it. I kind of got made fun of a little bit that I watched that, but, you know, you do you, etc. <laughs> So it was like three mermaids and like at one point one of them left. I'm not sure if it was, I think it was the third season. So there was a, um, a second, um, a third mermaid, sorry, Bella. Um, not a third, well, a second instead of Emma left and Bella came. And honestly, their names are pretty similar. Emma, Bella, kind of, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, there was, there is another H2O or something like, um, a merman one, kind of, but I never got into that one in the end, maybe I'd watched enough, you know. 
sometimes, you know, I liked Vampire Diaries, but then, like, when I started watching the originals, I never got into it because it's probably, like, you know, I've had enough of the vampires, I've had enough of the mermaids for now, let's move on to something else, you know? So, in the realm of fantasy and adventure, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, uh, released in 2011, features mermaids in a more mysterious and dangerous light. The film's portrayal of mermaids as both alluring and deadly creatures adds an element of suspense and intrigue to Captain Jack Sparrow's high seas adventures. The mermaid scenes are visually stunning, highlighting the darker side of mermaid lore. So, additionally, the fantasy drama series Siren, which aired from 2018 to 2020, explores the darker and more complex aspects of mermaid mythology. Set in the coastal town of Bristol Cove, the show follows a mermaid named Ryan, who comes ashore in search of her missing sister. Siren delves into themes of identity, environmentalism, and the clash between human and merfolk. Cultures offering a fresh and modern take on mermaid stories. So from the animated wonder of the Little Mermaid to the thrilling adventures in Pirates of the Caribbean and the modern uh, mysteries of Siren, mermaids continue to enchant and captivate audiences on screen. These films show and bring to life the magic and mystery of the sea, allowing us to explore the depths of our imagination. So next we'll cover some... Yeah, so next we're going to go on to art and music. So... This is the last section of the pop culture uh, section of this video. So now let's immerse ourselves in the enchanting influence of mermaids in art and music, where these mystical beings have inspired countless creations throughout the ages. So mermaids have long been a favorite subject in art, symbolizing beauty, mystery, and the allure of the sea. During the Renaissance, uh, artists like John William Waterhouse captured the ethereal essence of mermaids in their paintings. Waterhouse's work, such as A Mermaid from 1901, depicts a serene and captivating mermaid combing her hair by the water's edge. His use of soft, flowing lines and delicate colors evokes the enchanting and otherworldly nature of these mythical creatures. In more contemporary times, a digital art has brought mermaids into the modern era with vivid and imaginative interpretations. Artists on platforms like DeviantArt and Instagram create stunning mermaid artwork, blending fantasy and realism. These digital pieces often feature intricate details and vibrant colors, showcasing the artist's unique vision of mermaids. In various settings, from serene underwater realms to mystical starlit oceans. So, mermaids have also left their mark on the world of music. Claude Debussy, the renowned French composer, was inspired by the oceans and its mystery, creating pieces that evoke the fluid and dreamy nature of the sea. His composition, titled La Mer, which means the sea, though not directly about mermaids, captures the enchanting and ever-changing essence of the ocean, a fitting backdrop, backdrop for the tales of these mythical beings. In popular music, mermaids have been the muse for various artists and songs. One notable example is The Mermaid by the folk rock band Great Big Sea, which tells a whimsical and humorous tale of a sailor who falls in love with a mermaid. The song's catchy tune and playful lyrics highlight the enduring charm of mermaid lore in contemporary music. So, mermaids have also influenced musical theatre and opera. Uh, I'm not sure how you say that. Dorax Opera Vasilaka, first performed in 1901, tells the story of a water nymph who longs to become a human to win the love of a prince. The haunting aria song to the moon, sung by Rosalak, is a beautiful and melancholic expression of longing and enchantment, embodying the deep emotional currents often associated with mermaid tales. From the delicate brushstrokes of Renaissance paintings to the evocative compositions of classical and contemporary music, mermaids continue to inspire and enchant artists and audiences alike. Their timeless 
timeless allure and mystical presence reminds us of the beauty and mystery that lie beneath the waves. Moving on to part three of the video, so cultural variations. Um, no interesting facts about mermaids, and then this specific part is cultural variations. So, as we continue our journey into the world of mermaids, let's explore the fascinating cultural variations of these mythical beings from around the globe. Uh, each culture has its own unique interpretation of mermaids, enriching the lore with diverse and captivating stories. So, in Irish and Scottish folklore, we encountered the Selkies. Unlike traditional mermaids, the Selkies are seal-like creatures who can shed their skins to become human. These beings are often depicted as gentle and enchanting, capable of forming deep emotional bonds with humans. Stories of Selkies usually revolve around themes of love and loss, with their ability to transform or serve as a symbol of the fluidity between the human and natural worlds. So, now moving to Scandinavia, we find the half fru or sea woman. These mermaids are all are known for their haunting beauty and enchanting voices. Scandinavian folklore often portray them as both benevolent and dangerous, capable of bestowing a good fortune or luring sailors to their demise. And the dual nature of the half fru reflects the unpredictability unpredictable and powerful forces of the sea. So, in African mythology, particularly in West African and Caribbean cultures, we encounter Mami Wata, um, the water spirit is revved and respected, often depicted as a beautiful mermaid or a snake charmer. Mami Wata is associated with fertility with fertility, prosperity, and healing. So followers of Mami Wata perform elaborate rituals to honor her and seeking her blessing and protection. Her image blends African, indigenous, and colonial influences, creating a rich tapestry of cultural significance. So, in Japanese folklore, the ninyo is a fish-like creature with a human face. Unlike the Aluren mermaids of Western mythology, the ninyo is often depicted as eerie and mysterious. It is believed that, cons that consuming the flesh of a ninyo can grant immortality, but catching one is thought to bring in storms and bad luck. The ninyo embodies the complex relationship between humans and the natural world, highlighting themes of desire and the consequence. So, in Russian folklore, we find the Ruskal, a water nymph or mermaid-like being. Rusaliki are often portrayed as spirits, as spirits of young women who have died tragically, living in rivers and lakes. They are known for their captivating beauty and haunting songs that lure unspecting travelers to the water's edge. Ras Rasalaki are said to possess both the power to enchant and the ability to bring misfortune to those who encounter them. They represent the connection between life and death, symbolizing the internal cycle of nature and the passage of time. So these diverse cultural variations of mermaids offer a glimpse into the wrist rich tapestry of human imagination and storytelling. From the mystic Selkies of Ireland to the haunting Roskali of Russia, each culture brings its own unique perspective to the timeless myth of the mermaid. So, now we're going to move on to symbolism and influence. So, as we delve deeper into the realm of mermaids, let's explore the symbolism and profound influence these mythical great beings have had on human culture throughout history. From ancient folklore to modern day trends, mermaids continue to captivate our imaginations and inspire us in myriad ways. One of the most enduring symbols associated with mermaids is their connection to the sea. As creatures of the ocean, mermaids represent the mysteries and vastness of the sea, symbolizing both its beauty and its danger. So they embody the untamed forces of nature and the unknown depths that lie beneath the waves, reminding us of the vastness of the natural world and our place within it. So, mermaids also 
also symbolize themes of femininity and empowerment. So throughout history, mermaids have often been depicted as strong, independent beings who defy societal expectations and chart their own course. Their fluidity and adaptability serve as a metaphor for the resilience and strength of women, inspiring generations to embrace their inner power and pursue their dreams. So additionally, mermaids represent the allure of the unknown and the longing for adventure. Their mythical status invokes a sense of wonder and curiosity, prompting us to explore new horizons and embrace the possibilities that lie behind the, beyond the familiar. Whether through literature, art, or folklore, mermaids spark our imagination and encourage us to embark on our own journey of discovery. So in modern culture, mermaids continue to influence fashion, lifestyle, and entertainment. From mermaid themes parties, festivals, to the growing trend of mermaid core fashion, mermaids have become a, sim a symbol of whimsy and escapism. Their enchanting allure inspires us to embody our creativity and express ourselves freely, adding a touch of magic to our everyday lives. Through their symbolism and profound influence, mermaids remind us of the beauty and wonder that surrounds us, inviting us to dive deeper into our imaginations and explore the depths of our dreams. So next up, we're going to be talking about scientific explanations and real-life inspiration. So I believe this is the last section before the conclusion. So... Um, as we journey deeper into the mysteries of mermaids, let's explore the scientific explanations and real-life inspirations behind these mythical beings. While mermaids may exist in legend and folklore, the stories of their existence have often been influenced by real-life encounters and natural phenomena. So one of the most common explanations for mermaid sightings throughout history is the misidentification of marine animals, so creatures like manatees, dugons, and monk seals with their human-like features and tendency to surface for air may have been mistaken for mermaids by sailors and explorers. From a distance, these animals could easily be misconstrued as humanoid figures, leading to tales of mermaids among the seafaring communities. So, yeah, people are just exploring along. They think they see something and, you know, it fuels the myth, fuels the legend, and it's just, you know, another marine animal. Another potential source of inspiration for mermaid legends is the phenomenon of aquatic ape theory. The con this controversial hypothesis suggests that humans underwent a period of adaptation to an aquatic environment in our evolutionary history. Proponents of this theory argue that certain human traits, such as our relatively hairless bodies and sub Subsutaneous fat could be adaptations for life in the water. While the aquatic ape theory remains speculative, it offers an intriguing perspective on the origins of mermaid myths and our fascination with the sea. In modern times, the image of the mermaid has been embraced by enthusiasts known as professional mermaids, so these individuals often trained in free diving and underwater performance don elaborate mermaid tails and perform in aquatic shows, events, and themed parties. Professional mermaids combine elements of art athleticism and storytelling to bring the magic of mermaids to life, captivating audiences of all ages with their graceful underwater performances. So, furthermore, advancements in technology have allowed us to explore the depths of the ocean like never before, uncovering new species and ecosystems that were once the stuff of myths and legend. From bioluminescent creatures in the deep sea to vibrant coral reefs teeming with life, the wonders of the ocean continue to inspire awe and wonder, fueling our imaginations and enriching our understanding of the natural world. While the existence of mermaids may remain confined in the realms of myth and legend, their enduring allure reminds us 
countless mysteries that lie beneath the waves, whether as symbols of the seas, beauty and danger, or as a source of inspiration for art, science, and exploration, mermaids continue to capture our imagination and inspire us to explore the depths of our world and ourselves. So, in the final segment, we'll take a moment to reflect. So, basically, this will be the conclusion. So, as our journey through the enchanting world of mermaids comes to a close, let's take a moment to reflect on the wonders we've explored and the magic we've experienced together. So, from the ancient myths and legends that have shaped mermaid the lore for centuries to the modern day interpretations that continue to captivate our imaginations, we've delved deep into the rich tapestry of mermaid mythology. Uh, mythology. We've uncovered uncovered stories of love and loss, mystery and adventure, spanning cultures and continents, reminding us of the universal human fascination with the sea and its mythical inhabitants. So through art, uh, literature, music and film, mermaids have inspired generations to dream, to explore and to embrace the beauty and wonder of the world around us. They remind us of the boundless possibilities that lie beyond the horizon, the importance of cherishing the magic that surrounds us each day. As we bid farewell to our mermaid journey, let's carry the spirit of adventure and wonder with us, allowing it to guide us on our own voyages of discovery. Let's remember the lessons of the mermaids, their resilience, their beauty, and their enduring allure as we navigate the currents of life, always seeking new horizons and embracing the mysteries that lie ahead. So thank you for joining me on this magical adventure. May the songs of the sea and the dreams of mermaids continue to inspire you wherever your journey may lead. Until we meet again, may you find peace, joy, and endless wonder in the depths of your imagination. So, yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I feel like I definitely was talking a bit fast today. I think there's just a lot of info to get through, but I gotta slow down. I know sometimes, I, I don't know if I've been talking fast or not over the last few days. I haven't consciously been doing it. I was like, at a certain point, I was really getting into talking slow, and then I think I, then I went to Paris, and then, you know, I reset myself. I hadn't done it in a while, and now I filmed loads of the past few days. So, if you comment that I'm talking too fast again, and it's one I've just filmed, like, a week ago, I'm not gonna take the comment into account again until, uh, you know, all I've pre-filmed them all. I'm not gonna delete them all because I was talking a little bit too fast. So, yeah. Either way, I don't know. It just feels like I'm talking fast. My voice is like, <laughs> feels like I'm racing. But either way, some people like that. I don't know. Like, some people have full, like, fast and trigger-themed ASMR channels. And um, I think it just depends. Um, it just depends um, what you like. So I guess some people make content based on what they like. So if their channel is themed on fast days or more triggers, that's probably because that's what they like or what's natural to them, easy to them to do. <laughs>